Hey wild ones, it's Emma here. Welcome back to the Wild and Untamed Way where we delve into the deep uh, mystical world of shamanic witchcraft. And today I'm gonna be sharing with you a topic that is essential for maintaining a harmonious and positive environment. It is energetically cleansing your home. And today I'm gonna to share with you five ways that you can energetically cleanse your home. Now, you're likely already clearing your home of physical clutter, so why not tend to its energetic clutter as well? Everything is made of energy and it's very easy for that energy to build up in our home and to bring us down. So let's get into it and how you can refresh and uplift the energy of your living space. a sacred and peaceful home environment isn't just about tidying up the physical clutter. Our homes can accumulate negative, chaotic energy that affects our mood, our health and our overall well-being. So getting in the habit of removing this energy can make your space feel lighter, brighter and more creative. So when should you consider energetically clearing your home? First of all, when you're in a funk, if you're in a funk, if you're having a bad day, right? Negative energy in your home may be feeding those feelings. Uh, if you're sick or if you have been sick, you know, the physical condition often carries, well, always carries negative energy into the space around you. So that would be another good time to cleanse your space. Um, following a breakup or loss, you know, during any kind of heartache or any kind of grief, um, by clearing your home, it can really help you to process the pain and also to move forward. If you've had an argument with your partner or family member, you know, clear the air, literally, right? Literally clear the air after any disagreements. Um, also during any kind of major life transitions, clearing out the old really creates space for new energy and for more abundance to come into your life. And finally, when you're feeling a little bit stuck, right? So um, if progress feels like it's not going anywhere, your home's energy might be the reason why you're feeling held back. So it's really important that we energetically cleanse our home. Also as well, if you're doing any kind of magical practice, I always recommend you cleansing your space beforehand. Um, so here are five ways that you can energetically cleanse your space. Um, Let's start off with number one, the first method, which I'm sure you're all expecting and I'm sure you're all familiar with, and that is smudging. But hear me out, because I'm gonna share some additional tips and tricks for you. So smudging, smudging is the ancient art um, and a powerful method of cleansing and purifying your home. And it involves burning sacred herbs to create smoke that can clear away negative energy, making your space feel lighter, brighter, and more harmonious. While smudging is often associated with Native American and South American traditions, the practice of burning herbs for purification has ancient roots in many cultures, including the Celts and the Druids and other ancient Britons who used local herbs in their rituals to cleanse space and to invoke spirits and to offer prayer as well. And as somebody who lives in the UK, I am really drawn to work, working more with herbs that are local to me, herbs that are um, of my local area. And so I'm gonna be sharing some of those with you today. Smudging works on both a physical and an energetic level, right? So actually the smoke that is produced by burning sacred herbs has often got antimicrobial properties which can physically purify the air, which can reduce bacteria and other pathogens. But on an energetic level, the smoke attaches to negative energies, transforming and dispersing them, allowing positive energy to flow more freely through your home. So you've probably heard a lot of people who are working with white sage, with sweet grass, with palo santo, but as I said, as someone uh, who likes to work with local native plants, there are several traditional British herbs that are commonly used for smudging, and each of them has their own properties. Here are a few of my favorites and the most popular ones. Number one, mugwort. I freaking love mugwort. I pretty much work with mugwort 
every week and mugwort has long been used for its protective and its cleansing properties it's excellent for clearing away negative energy but it's also brilliant for enhancing psychic abilities as well so you can use mugwort to cleanse your space and prepare it for any kind of divination or meditation next up we've got lavender well known for its calming and soothing properties right so this makes it perfect for creating a very peaceful atmosphere and for promoting relaxation. Burn lavender to reduce stress and anxiety and also in, to invite in lots of tranquility into your home as well. Next up, we've got rosemary. Ah, oh, I love rosemary. It's a very powerful herb for purification and protection and it has been used for centuries to ward off negative energy and to promote healing. Use rosemary to cleanse your home and also to protect it from any unwanted influences. And finally, let's talk about juniper. Now, juniper smoke can be used to ward off evil spirits. It can also be used to cleanse spaces of negative energy. So I would say use juniper to protect your home and to invite in more positive energies. So there are some of the herbs that you can use, but how do you smudge your space? There's actually a lot more to it than just waving and wafting a bit of burning herbs around. So first of all, I recommend that you begin by taking a moment to set your intention for smudging, right? Focus on what you want to achieve, whether that is clearing away negative energy, inviting positive vibes into your home, or simply creating a more peaceful environment. Choose your smudging herb, whether it's mugwort, lavender, rosemary, juniper, or if you prefer and you want to work with white sage, palo santo, sweet grass, you do you. And you'll also need to have a fireproof container to catch the ashes, a shell, ceramic dish, traditional cauldron, and also of course a lighter or some matches to ignite your herbs. To allow the negative energy to escape and fresh air to circulate, it is crucial, so many people don't do this, you need to open your windows and your doors in your home when you smudge. Where is the negative energy gonna go if your windows aren't open? So not only does this allow for your negative energy to leave your home, but it also creates a flow of energy, right? Which brings in fresh, positive energy. Light your smudging herbs, wait till it starts to smolder and produce smoke. And then you're using your smudging stick, you can then waft it with your hand you could use a feather you could use a smudging fan and basically you're going to start at the entrance of your home and then you're going to move clockwise through each room hold your smudging smudging stick in one hand um, and your fireproof dish of course in the other and as you move you're going to waft the smoke into every corner every nook every cranny using a feather a fan or your hand and pay special attention to areas that tend to collect stagnant energy corners of your room corners of window frames wardrobes underneath furniture smudge underneath your bed right also focus on really high traffic areas as well things like doorways and hallways and living spaces where the energy can become particularly dense personally a little tip that i like to do i like to actually draw protective symbols and sigils on the walls and on the doors of my home with the smoke for an energetic layer an extra energetic layer of protection you could also as well recite mantras or affirmations that resonate with you and your intention. For example, you might say, I cleanse this space of all negativity and I fill it with love and light. Don't forget to cleanse yourself as well. Waft the smoke around your body, starting with your feet, moving your way up to towards the top of your head. This is gonna to help to clear away any negativity that you may have picked up along the way. And once you've smudged your entire home, of course, extinguish your smudging stick and then take a moment to express gratitude for the cleansing and protection provided by the herbs and then close your windows, right? <laughs> so I would say make smudging a regular part of your routine. You know, depending on your needs, you might wanna do it weekly, monthly, or whenever you feel that it just needs a bit of a reset. But by incorporating this ancient practice into your routine, you can maintain a safe space and a clear space that supports your well-being and your magical practice. Next up, bring your salt out of the kitchen. So salt, 
Salt works on both a physical and an energetic level. Physically, salt is known for its ability to dehydrate and preserve, which is why it's been used for centuries in food preservation, also in wound sterilization. If you think about putting salt on a piece of meat, for example, it draws out all of the blood. So energetically, salt, this is what salt does too. It absorbs negative vibrations and it draws out impurities and stagnant energies from people, objects, and of course, spaces. Creating a salt water spray is a really easy and effective way to cleanse your home. All you need to do is dissolve some salt. I like sea salt in a spray bottle filled with water and then just mist around your room. This method is particularly useful for drawing out negative energy that is built up over time. And you could also add your favorite essential oils to that as well. Think about some of the herbs that we've just spoken about. Rosemary, lavender, mugwort, you know, layer these energies up. You can also create a thin line of salt in the front of your home's entrance or around the parameter of your property as well, which is going to act as a barrier against unwanted energies. The salt line absorbs and neutralizes any negativity that tries to enter the space. Place small bowls of sea salt in corners of your rooms or on your altar and the salt will absorb negative energy, keeping the space purified. Make sure you replace the salt regularly to maintain its effectiveness. And um, also as well, you could add salt to cleaning water. This is a great way to energetically cleanse surfaces and floors in your home. So as you clean, the salt water will actually draw out and neutralize any negativity um, that is lingering around in your home. And finally, one of my favorite ways to work with salt is Himalayan salt lamps. These not only add a warm, soothing glow to your home, but they also help to purify the air and draw out negative energy. Salt crystals attract moisture from the air, which then evaporates, which creates this continual cycle of purification. I absolutely love working with salt in my practice, but if you do have pets, especially cats, please be mindful that salt can cause them harm. So do uh, adjust accordingly. Next up, number three, we have got sound. Ah, sound cleansing really harnesses the power of vibrations to break up and disperse stagnant or negative energies, creating a real harmonious and balanced environment. It's a very simple yet powerful practice that you can easily incorporate into your magical routine. Sound cleansing works by producing vibrations that travel through the air, that interact with the energy in your space. And these vibrations can break up and disperse negative energy, making it easier to release and clear out your home. Different sounds have different frequencies and different effects, which is why a variety of different tools can be used for this particular purpose. The resonance of certain sounds can uplift the energy, restore balance and promote positive vibrations. Some common tools used for sound cleansing are drums. So drumming, I love drumming as a shamanic witch. It is a huge part of my practice and drumming is an ancient practice used in many cultures for clearing and for healing. The rhythmic beat of the drum creates powerful vibrations that penetrate deep into your space, breaking up stagnant energy and promoting a sense of grounding and balance. So start playing your drum at the entrance of your home. Again, move clockwise through each room, focusing on areas that maybe feel a bit heavy or a little bit blocked. Singing bowls are amazing as well. They produce the most beautiful resonance sound that is perfect for energy clearing. To use a singing bowl, you'll strike it gently with the mallet and then circle around the rim and create this wonderful continuous tone. The vibrations from the singing bowl will actually fill the room, dispersing any negative energy and replacing it with positive, harmonious vibrations. Again, move through your home in a clockwork direction, spending extra time on areas that you feel need more cleansing. Number three in sound cleansing is bells. I love working with bells. I have a very special bell on my altar and I love working them because the clear high pitched sound of a bell 
literally can cut through any dense energy and it can create a real sense of clarity and lightness. You can use a bell to cleanse each room by ringing it in the corners and the doorways and any other areas that feel energetically heavy. And the sound is going to help to break up and disperse any negative energy, leaving the space feeling refreshed and vibrant. But if you don't have a drum or a bell or a singing bowl, then fear not because you can just use you. <laughs> the first thing you can do is clapping. So clapping your hands is simple and effective and it is an amazing way to cleanse your home. The sharp sound of clapping can actually break up stagnant energies and create movement where there was none. Um, as with the other methods, start at the entrance of your home, move clockwise, clap along the walls and the corners and the doors, pay attention to areas that seem dull or muted. These spots might be where there's negative energy uh, or where it's more concentrated. And finally, you can use your voice, vocal toning. Your own voice can be a powerful tool for sound cleansing and Things like chanting, humming or singing can create vibrations that resonate throughout your space, breaking up and clearing away that negative energy. You can choose a tone or a mantra that will really resonate with you and you can use it to cleanse your home. So move around the home, move from, move from each room, allowing your voice to fill the space and carry away any unwanted energy. Before you begin cleansing with sound, Take a moment, as always, set your intention and focus on removing negative energy and creating a space that is filled with positive, harmonious vibes. And once you have cleansed your entire home, always take a moment to express gratitude for the positive energy and the protection that now fills your space. Next move on, the fourth way you can cleanse your home from negative energy is working with crystals. Now if you know me, you know I've been working with crystals for almost two decades all over the world. Um, I've been fortunate enough to have an amazing career working with um, gemstones and crystals and from gemstone mines in Tanzania to working on TV to training in New York's Diamond District it is a real passion of mine. And crystals are a gift from the earth. Each of them carries a very unique vibrational property that can help you to clear negative energy. And when we incorporate crystals into our home and into our home cleansing routine, we can enhance our magical practice and we can uplift the overall energy of our environment. Crystals have been used for thousands of years to, uh, well, in various different cultures to heal and also because they have amazing protective properties, but they work by resonating at specific frequencies that can influence the energy around them. By placing crystals in strategic locations around your home, you can harness their natural vibrations uh, to absorb, transmute and also protect against negative energies. As you probably know, each crystal has its own unique properties, makes them a really versatile tool when it comes to addressing lots of different energetic needs. But here are some of the most effective crystals that you can work with to cleanse and to protect your home. First off, black tourmaline. It is my go-to when it comes to pro uh, protection and cleansing always. It is one of the most powerful protective stones. It's known for its ability to absorb negative energy and to transmute it. So it makes it a must have for any home cleansing ritual. Place black tourmaline at the entrance of your home to prevent negative energies from entering and you can also place it in the corners or in areas that feel particularly heavy or stagnant. Next up we've got hematite. Um, it is a real grounding stone, a very protective stone that can help you to create a sense of stability and balance in your home. It works by absorbing negative energy and also promoting a calm and peaceful environment. I recommend placing hematite near electronic devices to neutralize electromagnetic radiation or in any room where you want to create a very grounded energy, a very serene atmosphere. When it comes to electro smog, shungite is also highly recommended, um, especially around computers and 
um, smart speakers and your Wi-Fi routers and all those kinds of things. Clear Quartz is next. Known as the master healer, it can be used to amplify the energy of other crystals. So this is brilliant. It's excellent for cleansing and purifying your spaces. It can also absorb and store and release and regulate energy as well. So you can place clear quartz in any area where you want to maintain a high vibrational environment. And finally, selenite a really powerful cleansing and charging crystal. It's often used to clear and purify other crystals, but it can also be used in your home as well. You can place selenite in the corners of your home. I actually love pairing this up with um, black tourmaline, um, but you can also place it on windowsills as well to kind of create this protective grid that helps to keep your space free from negative energy, and you could also use a selenite wand as well to sweep the energy in a room, directing it towards the windows and the doors to be released. I love kind of brushing through my own aura, my own energetic field with a selenite wand as well. So that's crystals, you know, they are powerful allies in maintaining a clean, balanced and protected home. And when we incorporate them into our regular cleansing routine, you can really enhance the energy of your space and support your magical practice. Finally then, let's talk about what do you think's next? Plants. Plants are more than just beautiful decor. Um, they're more than just uh, an addiction. <laughs> They are living, breathing allies that can help to purify your space and uplift your energy. Plants have been used for centuries in various cultures for their cleansing and their healing properties. They'll naturally purify the air by absorbing toxins and releasing oxygen, creating a much healthier environment. Additionally, you know, plants have their own unique vibrational energy as well. So that can help to balance and also uplift the energy in your home. In a landmark study, NASA actually identified several air purifying plants. You can uh, research this online, but these plants contributed to a healthier living environment because they filtered out harmful pollutants, things like formaldehyde and carbon monoxide and benzene. So here are some wonderful plants that are particularly effective at energetically cleansing um, your home. First of all, there's lots of plants, but these are my favorite. We've got spider plants. They're freaking everywhere in our house and they breed. Um, spider plants are fantastic air, air purifiers. They're known for their ability to remove toxins like carbon monoxide and xylene, and they remove these from the air. So it's also a great plant if you have pets as well, because it's non-toxic to pets, so it makes it a safe choice for homes with animals. Place spider plants in various different rooms to maintain clear, fresh energy throughout your home. And like I said, they breed. You can give them as gifts as well. <laughs> Next up, aloe vera. Wow, it is such a potent, beautiful, incredibly healing plant. But it's not just a great plant for soothing burns and skin, but it's also an excellent air purifier. It helps clear formaldehyde and benzene, and it's commonly found, um, uh, these toxins are commonly found in household products like varnishes and detergents. So keep an aloe vera plant in your kitchen or in your living room to really benefit from its healing and purifying properties. And finally, English ivy. I love ivy. It is also everywhere in our house and in our garden as well. Um, you can actually make dishwashing soap and also laundry detergent from ivy, but that's another video. But English ivy is highly effective at reducing airborne mold and also formaldehyde. It's perfect for creating a very fresh and clean atmosphere in your home. So hang ivy in baskets or let it trail from shelves because not only does that add both beauty to your home, but it also adds that function to your space as well. And as well as placing plants in area of your home where the energy tends to be um, stagnant, such as like corners and hallways and rooms with very little light. You could also dedicate a space in your home for a plant altar. 
You could arrange several cleansing plants together on a table or a shelf, add some crystals and candles and other sacred items to really enhance their energy. And this altar could serve as a beautiful focal point as well for meditation or some kind of energy work too. Also, as you place your plants or as you tend to your plants, make sure you set clear intentions for the energy that you wish to cultivate in your home. Speak to your plants, right? I do this all of the time. Thank them for their cleansing properties and for inviting them to, you know, help you to maintain a real positive and harmonious environment. So there we go, folks five ways to energetically cleanse your space but don't forget that you can also combine these methods as well to create this kind of powerful multi-layered approach to cleansing your home try using some smudging followed by some sound cleansing and then you could place your crystals in strategic locations to maintain that energy you can enhance the cleansing power of, of your plants by combining them with other methods as well such as sound cleansing or you could place i don't know uh, a dish of salt near your plants to use um to add and to add this layer of energetic cleansing right so let me know in the comments what is your favorite method to energetically cleanse your home and also if you enjoyed this video please give it a like a thumbs up a comment please subscribe and of course hit the notification as uh, bell as well so that you get updated on my next videos and finally if you would like to learn more about shamanic witchcraft and living a life in harmony with the changing of the seasons and the wheel of the year then come over and join us in my free facebook community it's called the wild and untamed ones and you'll find the link in my description here in the video in the meantime i'll see you on the next video Stay cool, won't you? And enjoy the rest of your day.